It's Will reporting for Winkball. Now, what makes us good or bad people? That's the question that's being explored in the film Thoroughbreds. Now, I'm at the screening for this movie at the London Film Festival 2017, and I'm going to head down to speak to some of the cast just to find out how ruthless they can be in their own personal lives. Um, so this was obviously a play, and, and it's now a film. Kind of what made you get it onto the big screen? Yeah, I, I started out fully intending to do it as a theater production, yeah. but toward the late stages of writing it, I noticed that I was seeing it in filmic language. Yeah. I was seeing it in close-ups and wide shots and tracking shots. Um, and there was always something about sort of the core of this story and the core of this relationship that I think wanted to live on screen. And I think it has something to do with sort of the thriller genre aspects of it uh, and something to do with just its, its thematic core. Somehow I think it works better on screen. We didn't, we had a couple of days of... Um of prep where we just met and you know we talked about our characters backstories but to be honest we shot this in a month and we shot pretty much every day it was a very very intense shoot and so we kind of just had to feel our own characters that way and then through the dialogue just sort of keep learning it and what I love about working with Olivia is that the two of us very much play with each scene each take is different and so we just fed off each other's energy and kind of found our characters within that. I really started writing the script sort of wondering how much it's important that you have the right emotional instincts about what's good or bad in order to be a moral human being. And I think that's still at the core of the movie, but I hope it's also just a real entertaining, provocative thrill ride. It is fun to play a character like that. Instead of being so hyper-emotional, which I've kind of done in the past quite a lot, it was fun to play someone that whose emotions were completely repressed and who was just a master manipulator and master imitator as well. But how did you prepare, I mean, for something like that? Just read the script, just learnt my lines. I spoke to Corey Bunch, rehearsed with Anya, um, watched a few Hitchcock films and a few David Lynch films, kind of got a vibe for what Corey was trying to set out to do. Um, and that was it, really. It kind of, um, I, I, I think Anya and I both have talked about this before, that we're, we don't really chat about it too much. We just kind of do it, and we're quite instinctual, and if it doesn't work, we try something else. By the looks of it, the cast aren't actually as ruthless as they look in the movie. Well, I didn't think they would be, though. That's it from me, though. Wilfred Winkball, see you soon.